Hi, this is David with entry number 892 here, walking back from a nice long day. I uh, waited around this morning at the hostel to talk to the owner, Mike, and uh, because the, uh, the current kind of caretaker guest person is leaving uh, this week, I guess I'm going to assume the role for uh, the forthcoming, the forthcoming uh, time period. Uh, so I guess that basically means I get to stay for free, but I have to take care of uh, the guests and stuff, which isn't a big deal, but uh, um, yeah, it should be easy. I, uh, yeah, so I had a good day though. I took out another guest and had lunch, or a late breakfast, <coughs> and uh, it's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what's going on at my breakfast place. Uh, I go to this one place. It's so much Good Morning Nanyang. And it's operated by this group, same group of women every time. And they're super nice. But uh, I don't know what happened. Like, uh, they've just been acting kind of cold. Maybe they're just busy or whatever. But uh, maybe it's just me. But um, they used to be like super like outgoing and friendly. But now they're just kind of uh, like serving like a kind of a frown and I'm like uh what's going on but uh it doesn't matter really it's just an observation another thing that uh I'll say is that uh oh going back to working in kind of as the caretaker of the hostel I'm a little bit apprehensive about it to be honest just because it's going to take up some more of my time and it's something that I'm not super psyched about doing but uh I think as long as kind of like Mike uh, lets more of the guests check themselves in, it won't be a huge issue. But if I have to like stay around, stick around every morning and like check people in, that's where it becomes more of an issue for me because it's like eating up time that I would be out. So yeah, I'm a little concerned about that, but uh, overall not like super worried. I think I might just ask Mike to just start like letting people check themselves in because uh, it makes it a lot more easy for everyone because it takes the stress off of me having to be around at the hostel all day and it also allows them to kind of come at their leisure so it makes a lot of sense I did also uh, I was really trying to get him to let me stay at the hostel but it turns out the Taiwanese people are not going to be like all gone at the hostel at the same time they're going to be like taking shifts at this cooking competition or whatever so they're always going to be like running back and forth inside and out of the hostel which you know I think is a bit of an issue and they also said that Mike also said that they're going to like take over or they're going to like just basically want to be and not like uh, not messed with at all so he's not giving them like any service or anything like no free bread or anything so it's kind of interesting so I'm going to be staying in Little India at a hostel called The Hive. And uh, it's like maybe a little bigger than the one I'm at now. It's like on a single, it's like in a big kind of apartment. in just really on the outskirts of Little India. Which is good because I don't really particularly like uh, Little India very much because it's very congested. And you kind of have to deal with uh, some issues that are very unique to that area. But uh, yeah, so... That's about it. Um, things, are really, things are going well though. Uh, still feeling good and uh, staying positive. So uh, everything though, I can't really report on anything negative, too negative. The weather's uh, better than it has been in a while. It's still not super, you know, cool or whatever. That's I guess the one thing I'm in, kind of missing about not about other country, living in another country is getting to wear like all my clothes uh, because the weather's so hot here it really limits you on like what you can wear and uh, I get stuck kind of wearing the same thing every day which you know isn't a huge issue but uh, it's a little annoying when when I have like so much other stuff I could be wearing but uh, anyway that's about it for today thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye